Hello, you are watching Coin News. Serdar Giretli with you in the studio. Technology blockchain confidently enters into everyday life day by day. Internet shopping can become even easier. Representatives of the SDK Global Payment Project are convinced of this. Having a cryptocurrency, you can buy anything you want at 39 million points of sale for fiat money. About how does it work, we will talk to Miro Pavletik, CEO of SDK Global Payment Project. Hello Miro, thanks for your time with Coin News. Thanks for inviting us, we really appreciate it. Nowadays, trade market is $23 trillion per year. What is the place in this market your project will take? You're exactly right. There is $23 trillion per year being spent in the marketplace right now, and yet cryptocurrency accounts for almost none of that. There's an opportunity to bridge the gap between the existing marketplace and the cryptocurrency industry if we provide a platform that enables seamless transactions. And that's exactly what we're doing by building STK. There's already a beta version of the STK Global Payment application, and more than 20,000 people are registered on its installation. Tell us please, how it will work and when we, as participants of your project, will be able to fully use the application. Absolutely. Stacks a digital account that replaces your traditional bank account with zero fees and completely built for mobile. It's an app that lets you spend, save, share your money straight from your smartphone. Stack also provides other benefits like real-time rewards, personalized financial IQ, curated offers from your favorite retailers, and a custom social stream that allows you to share experiences with your stories. The implementation of the SDK token will allow members to use that Stack app to pay for their purchases in real time with cryptocurrency. Our vision is to provide a platform where you can use your money in any country and in any currency, and the addition of our SDK token as a payment option supports just that. And timing-wise, Stack's scheduled to launch later this year in Canada, uh, in the US in Q1 of next year, and international expansion will follow shortly after that. We expect the first use cases of cryptocurrency uh, within the Stack app to be re ready and available next summer. In your white paper, you are talking about issue of own cards. When they will be accessible to the project participants, will it differ from the usual Visa cards? Yes, each Stack account will come with its own plastic card as well. They'll be a little bit different from traditional debit and credit cards because each purchase you make will trigger some of those value-added services I just mentioned, like real-time rewards, personal financial IQ, and the ability to share your stories in our custom social stream. Those cards will be available when Stack launches publicly later this year. On what resource will it be possible to buy SDK tokens during pre-ICO? Is it planned to place the SDK tokens on crypto exchanges in the future? Most of the activity during the pre-sale and sale will happen on our own website, sdktoken.com. We partnered with Token Market as well, so you can also access the sale via their exchange. We'll be announcing all of the other listings in real time, so check the SDK Token website regularly for real-time updates. You don't officially enter the US market and Canada. This shows the company's development in the legal field. Say a few words about this area of work. Yeah, an, an important distinction here is that while Canadian and US residents aren't eligible to participate as part of the token sale, they will be the first to use the actual SDK token within the Stack app since our launch will happen in North America first, followed by an international launch shortly thereafter. The lack of clarity around TGEs with the relevant regulatory bodies in both Canada and the US makes it too difficult to include these residents in our event. And we don't want to put anyone in a situation where they are exposed to ambiguous and unstable regulations. We're seeing a groundswell of support though from Canadian and US businesses government leaders, industry ambassadors. So we, we expect it won't be too long until regulators become more favorable um, defining this emerging market. Until then, our obligation is to protect our Canadian and US friends from this ambiguity. You talked about online transactions. As we know, transactions of Bitcoin, for example, can delay for minutes, even hours. How will this moment be realized in your project? You're absolutely right. One of the biggest challenges facing mainstream cryptocurrency adoption is the lack of merchant acceptance and the inability to make real-time transactions. SDK resolves those problems by acting as the middleman between the existing payment rails and customers' private crypto wallets. Our token provides access to a state channel between a crypto wallet and a third-party liquidity provider. By using our proprietary state channels, 
we can provide an almost instantaneous guarantee of payment to the merchants. And at the same time, give the crypto wallet holders full control over their private keys, including the ability to trade their assets at any time. So essentially, using the Stack app will feel like you're paying the merchant directly from your crypto wallet. Your project is designed for local currencies, which is very attractive for the entire crypto world. Your application allows you to have up to 10 different purchases. Will it be both fiat and cryptocurrencies? Yes, that's right. It'll be both. We'll have up to 10 fiat or local currencies in addition to cryptocurrencies. So you'll be able to use SDK tokens, Ether or Bitcoin as well. You have a very strong team and advisors. Can you tell a few words about them? Who are they? Yeah, we're really fortunate with an incredible lineup of thought leaders and industry experts on our advisory team. They're really there to help shape the vision and the mission of our SDK token and its utility. We have Ethan Wilding, founding member of Ethereum. He's also co-founder of Ledger Labs and L4, one of the leading blockchain consultancy groups in the world. Uh, we also have David Lee, professor of FinTech and blockchain at the Singapore University of Social Science. He's a huge advocate of financial inclusion, which is really important to us as well, because we want financial inclusion to be one of our main factors that we're delivering for. We also have Richard Castellan, the founder of Blockchain News. I could spend a lot of time on this subject. We're very grateful to have such an experienced and senior group of advisors, and they've been invaluable in helping to create a really innovative cryptocurrency solution. Thank you for the interview, Miro. Good luck in SDK Global Payment ICO. It was Miro Pavletic, CEO of SDK Global Payment Project in Colesco News Studio. Miro, hold the Skype line, please, to help us install SDK Global Payment application. Thanks for your time.